Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is here Vibro from Filmora Made Easy and today in this video I'll be reviewing the latest version of Filmora which is nothing but Filmora 12. But right now Filmora 12 is running as public beta and if you're interested in knowing more about the features and upgrades that we have received with Filmora 12 then this video is for you. Every year, we have seen newer and better version of Filmora and even this time, they have some amazing features. And now let me show you some of my personal favorite ones in Filmora 12. First, when you open up Filmora 12, you'll be greeted with this startup screen. We saw this startup screen even in Filmora 11 update, but here the animations and smoothness has been refined. Here you can select your aspect ratio for your video, create a new project and next you have different modes for editing your video which includes instant mode, screen recorder, auto reframe, instant cutter, silent cutter and auto bit sync. Below that you have local projects where you'll find all your video projects that you have worked previously. Towards left you get cloud project and creator hub. Here in Creator Hub, you can learn more tips and tricks related to Filmora. So if you want to learn anything related to Filmora, then head to Creator Hub right away and you will be just bombarded with so many new awesome tricks and tips and tricks related to Filmora. Just go ahead and keep learning. Alright, now let's click on New Project. Here we can see that the overall looks has changed a bit in comparison to Filmora 11 and the colors has also been made darker which is pretty good. Personally I love dark mode and here we have more darker than previously Filmora 11 so I'm loving it. Now if you take a look at the top section you get layout mode. Here you can select different layouts for Filmora. This is an exclusively new feature and it will be really helpful for many users including me. Next, you get new shortcuts. This feature will be a lifesaver for the users who are trying to shift from Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple's Final Cut Pro. To try this feature, click on the Toolbox button right here. And click on Keyboard Shortcuts. Now click on the drop-down menu of Switch to Other Shortcut Preset. And there, you can select your desired video editing software's shortcuts. Now, trust me, if you have your friends who are using Adobe's Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, then you can definitely let them know about this new feature and I'm pretty sure they would love to try out Filmora after knowing that the shortcuts that they use in their software are also available in Filmora. The next feature I'm really excited about Filmora 12 is Adjustment Layer. Let me show you what it is. Firstly, add some media onto your timeline. For this video, I'll be using one of my projects that I was working on previously. To your left, you can see Adjustment Layer. Click on it and drag the Adjustment Layer to your timeline. Once that is done, double click on the layer. Here you can add transformation to your media files or color correct them. Let me just add a lot for this video just for simplicity. Now, if you adjust the length of the layer to your need, you can see that the LUT has been applied over all your media files or your video clips. This is something really useful for many users and even I was longing for this feature and now we have it in Filmora 12. Bravo! My next favorite feature in Filmora 12 is hands down the AI Audio Stretch tool. Even this feature will be amazing and I'm pretty sure a lot of users are gonna love this feature. Basically, this feature will stretch your audio by using AI and let me show you this feature in action so that you'll understand more clearly. Add in your favorite audio that you want to stretch. After that, drag the audio onto your Filmora timeline. Next, click on the audio stretch option right here. Click on the end of the track and stretch it according to your liking. Just wait for a few seconds and let Filmora do its magic trick. Now within few seconds, your track is stretched for you. 
Now you don't have to waste a huge amount of time tweaking your short music for your long videos and just try to, you know, search for the sweet spot that will not uh, make your audio cut and just, you know, it's bad. Trust me. Well, these are some of my favorite features that are included in Filmora 12 and I think it is much better than the previous year's Filmora 11 update. And I have been using these features already on my channel's videos and even for my client work as well and they are loving it. Make sure you check the video description for its download link and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we'll bring in more videos related to Filmora as this is Filmora Made Easy. Have a great day or a great night ahead and I'll see you in the next video. Ka-chao!